Hi guys, it's Chris from Bugs and Slugs. Um, I just want to make this video to show you what to do with your Hatch Your Own Stick Insect Kit if you have one of those. So your Stick Insect Kit comes um, in a container and if you open it up in the container you've got a little bag of peat and a little bag of propagating sand and a container with some eggs in it. Now don't throw away this big container because that's actually what you're gonna to use to make your hatchery. And you'll see that that's got some holes that have already been made for you in the lid. Um, those holes are there for ventilation. So make sure you don't swap out the lid for a different one. So what I've done is I've emptied both of those bags, the peat and the sand into the container. And I'm just going to give them a good mix around so that they're nice and mixed together. Um, now, the sand is a really good um, substrate to hatch the eggs on and the peat retains moisture. So it'll stop the sand from getting too dry. Um, I've got a spray bottle here and I'm just going to give that a spray. And another mix. And then I'm just going to flatten that down and I'm going to take my little container of eggs. Now these are spiny leaf insect eggs. They look a bit like seeds. And that's because spiny leaf insects lay their eggs and disguise them as seeds so that ants will come along and take them down into the ants nest. Um, an ant's nest is actually the perfect environment to hatch spiny leaf insects. So that's really the environment that we're trying to recreate with this hatchery. So what we need to do now is just take our eggs out and sprinkle them onto the sand. It's probably going to be really hard to see them because they're quite well camouflaged there. Now, it doesn't matter if your eggs get mixed up in the sand. That's, that's quite okay. It won't um, damage them to get buried. And um, before you put the lid back on, just give them one more spray. You want that to be damp, but not really, really wet. And then we're going to pop the lid back on. And we need to find somewhere to keep this um, container while we wait for the eggs to hatch. Now, the eggs are at least six months old before we actually put them into the Hatch Your Own Stick Insect Kit. And that's because stick insect eggs can take a really long time to um, hatch. So um, their incubation time can be anywhere from six months to three to four years. So that, that's at the long end. Um, but you could expect that your stick insect eggs will be ready to hatch any time from six months after they've been laid. So that's why we keep them for a while before we give them to you so that we've done the waiting part for you. Um, that's not to say you won't still have a wait. You might still have a little bit of a wait for your eggs to hatch. So an egg could hatch the next day or an egg could take weeks or even months before you, you get something um, hatching. So you need to find a place to put this so that you can give it the best opportunity to hatch. And the best spot to put it is uh, somewhere nice and warm. So on top of your fridge, if you reach up on top of your fridge, there's a nice warm spot uh, where the motor is. That's a good spot to keep your hatchery. It wants to be about 25 degrees. Now, once a week, what I want you to do is take your hatchery down and have a good look in there make sure nothing's hatched, open the lid and just give it a couple of sprays. Um, it's always a good idea to feel it with your finger because sometimes it can look like it's still moist, but it can actually feel quite dry. So you want to keep it moist, but not too wet. Now, one day you're going to look into your hatchery and you'll probably see that there's a little insect in there. So I wanna show you what to do uh, when you get one hatch. Now, when you find that you've hatched a spiny leaf insect, um, 
I don't put them straight onto leaves and I don't put them straight into a really ventilated container because here in South Australia, it's really dry. And um, what that means is that your baby spiny leaf insects, they're so small, they can dry out really quickly. So I wanna show you a little trick that I use just for my tiny little babies. Um, now you're just doing this for one or two, so you can do it with just another takeaway container. You wanna put some holes in the lid like your hatchery has got. And what I've got here is just a little film canister with some water in it. And I've made a hole in there um, in the top there and I've just poked a few leaves into that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little babies that have hatched I'm just going to let that little guy go into there there's another one here For the first 24 hours, they won't show a lot of interest in the leaves. They tend to just spend their time running around because remember, in nature, they hatch in an ant's nest. So their first instinct is to get out of there. Now, it doesn't matter if I shut some of those leaves in the lid. You can see that what I've done is I've made quite a humid little environment for these tiny little stick insects and I'm kind of forcing them to stay on the leaves and that's a really easy and simple way that you can keep them when they're really little. As they get bigger you want to move them into something a bit more ventilated and these mesh pop-up enclosures work really well. You can buy a custom made one or you can get them from um, clothing stores or places like Ikea sell a number of different pop-up enclosures. And you want to set them up in the same way. You want to have some water um, in a jar at the bottom with some holes in it that you can put the leaves into. And I generally move them on when they're about third in star, like this one here or this one here. Actually, that one could be fourth in star. That one's a third in star there. So that means it's shed three times. And by that stage, they are really sort of eating quite happily and quite well. You can see that these little guys with the very frilly, with a very frilly dorsal surface there. I don't know if you can see that, James. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. I can. Uh, so these are females, but this one here with the very smooth, this he's got a very smooth surface there. And that one's a male. Now in this species, the males um, can fly, but they don't fly off and away. They will just fly around and down really. Um, and the females don't fly. The females become quite large and they're quite heavy. Um, this species is parthenogenetic, so if you're, uh, what that means is that they can produce eggs even if they've never mated with a male. So if you're, uh, if you only had female spiny leaf insects that laid eggs, um, then all your babies will be female spiny leaf insects. If you had a male and a female and the female produced eggs, then most of your babies will actually be male in that case. So, um, but they will hatch quicker. <laughs> so I always make mine because I feel like they're a bit more um, robust if they're mated. Okay, so if you do um, hatch one of your stick insects and you need some more information about how to care for it, I actually deal with that in a separate video and uh, on a separate fact sheet. So. Uh, Keep watching our YouTube channel for more videos about keeping stick insects. And if you do hatch one very quickly and you need, uh, you've lost your care sheet that came with your um, hatchery, 
then you can contact me through my Facebook page, which is Bugs and Slugs, or you can um, email me and my email address is on the front of the Hatch Your Own Stick Insect Kit. Um, and also on the care sheets that came with the kit. So uh, don't hesitate to do that. And in the meantime, have fun hatching your own stick insects. Thanks for letting us bug you.